In this video we are having a look at a nested VLOOKUP. This is slightly different to a normal VLOOKUP as it takes it a step further. So let's go through the example on our spreadsheet. On this sheet I have a product name, a quantity and I would like to know the total cost of each product. Going to the products sheets down the bottom you can see that there is a product name and a product ID. Then going across to prices, you can see that there is a product ID and also a price per item. So the reason why we can't use a simple VLOOKUP is that the cost, which is found in the prices sheet, is linked to a product ID. We get the product ID from using the product name. So we're going to use a nested VLOOKUP to go from product name to the price on the prices sheet. To use a nested VLOOKUP, we're going to do a single VLOOKUP first, then we're going to nest this first VLOOKUP within a second one. I'm going to go through now how we're going to do this. So first of all, we have the product name, so we first of all need to get the product ID for each product. To repeat, that product ID is found on this product sheet. So to make things a bit easier, for this example we are going to actually name each of these ranges. So I'm going to call this first range table 1 and in my second range of cells I'm going to name table 2. I've just done that by selecting the cells and naming it using the name box at the top. So back onto the sales sheet we're going to do a simple VLOOKUP to bring back the product ID for each name. As we've done previously, equals VLOOKUP, our lookup value, comma. You could either type in the table name or you could go to the sheet and highlight them. So I want table one, comma. Our column index number, I want the second column from that table, so we wanted to bring back the product ID and we want an exact match, so typing in false. This will bring back, as demonstrated, the product ID. What we're now going to do is this VLOOKUP is now going to become our lookup value for our second VLOOKUP. So to nest it in, put your mouse in between the equal sign and the word VLOOKUP, type in VLOOKUP again, and as I type in the open bracket, you will now see that this VLOOKUP, the first one we created, has now become the lookup value for the second VLOOKUP that we are creating. After the end of this, we are typing in a comma, and we're now going to continue with, essentially, a simple VLOOKUP. The table array is our second table, so table 2. Comma, we want the second column again. And then the range that we, the range lookup, so again, as we did previously, we want false because we want an exact match. Hit enter and you will see that it has brought back that individual price for that item. So just the last final part of this, that has brought back the price per item. We also have another step to do as we have a quantity column. So just click back into that cell. At the very end, type in um, a star for times, click on the quantity cell and hit enter. And that has now given us the total cost for that product. Now that we've done this, we can copy this down and it will fill in the rest of the answers for you. So that is just looking at a nested VLOOKUP in Excel. So when a simple VLOOKUP doesn't quite work for you, this is to show you that you can nest a VLOOKUP with inside another one.